Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a marketing flyer or leaflet in Word. It's incredible how much Word can provide now in terms of graphics. So today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, A5 flyer and I've just used the theme of um, health and beauty. Um, so here we go. Here at the moment I've got an A4 piece of paper but most flyers generally are A5. So I'm going to go up to layout and I'm going to go up to size and down to A5. And now my page is A5. It's going to increase the size of my page. And then I'm also going to go up to margins and I'm also going to take the margins out. So I'm going to go to custom margins and I'm going to set all the margins to zero so it's actually borderless. Now in doing this, it will create uh, problems. I'm going to ignore those problems for the time being. So we're going to turn this into a PDF and then you'll have to have a conversation with any uh, printers who might be printing it off or in fact your own home printer as to whether you can do borderless printing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a picture. So I'd like an image um, on my poster which I've um, previously downloaded from uh, pixel.com so I'm going to go up to picture from file. Here I am going to insert from my downloads And here we just have a very sim simple picture of this lady. So at the moment with my image, I can't move it around. If I try to move it down the page or around my page, it won't move. So if I go up to this icon here that says wrap text and I go down to behind text, it allows me then to move my image around wherever I want to on the page. Now what I will do is I'm just gonna increase the size of my image and then I'm just going to move it over to the side, just include a hair there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is insert some graphics. So I'm going to do use shapes. Now the shapes give you lots of versatility. Um, there's a number of different shapes that you can choose. At the moment, I'm just going to use the oval icon. Now here, if you want to draw an oval, you simply just drag and make an oval. If you want a circle, perfect circle, if while you're dragging, you hit the shift key, it will then turn into a perfect circle and you can stretch it and move it around as much as you want. Now I'm going to actually make an oval shape for this particular project and I'm going to move it up to probably about here. Now you have lots of different options now with this particular um, shape. You have the default um, colours and gradients here that you can choose from. Alternatively, if you go up to this bucket icon here, now I'm going to go down to this pink icon here, I'm going to change it to pink, and then I also want it to be a gradient. So I'm going to go down to gradient, and then I'm going to select the lower left. Now as you can see my oval has a line going around the outside of it which I don't want so if I double click to the right you'll see we have another list of options. Fill is actually the um, internal colour and line is the dark line we see around the outside. So I'm going to check no line and you can see the lines disappeared. Now I'm going to copy by pressing Command or Control C and then pasting Control or Command V to duplicate that oval and then I'm going to sit that oval just inside the first one and I'm just going to go and change the colour to a darker colour and I'm also going to change the gradient on that too to this particular gradient here. And you can obviously move that round and place it where you need, need to. In addition to that, I'm going to copy and paste that one again. I'll bring it down and click on the lighter one, copy and paste and bring that down as well. Now on this particular 
section, I'm going to move the graphics down to the lower left side of this flyer, but I'm actually going to rotate this particular one and just extend the size of it up here like that. Then I'm going to grab this one. Now this one's now gone behind and I want it in front. So the key to remember here is that these three icons, wrap text, bring forward, send backwards, are fairly key in manipulating where your graphics go. So this may not work because it seems to be um, something that happens one minute and doesn't happen the, the next. So if I try to bring it forward, this time it's brought it forward. Yesterday when I was doing it, it didn't, it didn't do that. So now I'm going to create a similar graphic to the um, top right corner. And I'm just going to extend my oval to about there. And then I'm also going to change the gradient to the top. And I'm fairly happy with that. Now I want to fill in this space here. So I'm going to insert, this time I'm going to insert a rectangle. Now again, with this particular tool, you can stretch a rectangle out. If you want the perfect square, hit the shift key. It will then turn into a square. Uh, and then you can draw your perfect square. But in this case, I'm happy with a rectangle. I'm going to move that down to this corner here, where I just want to cover up the white. I'm then going to select the darker color. And I don't want a line, so I'm going to ch check no line. And I'm on format shape, and I'm on the bucket icon. You can also go to the shadows, which I'll talk about in a minute. But you have to be on the bucket icon here and select no line. I'm going to send this backwards and backwards again and now it's behind the oval shapes I put in earlier. Here I'd also like to create a shadow effect. So on this I've checked this particular oval at the top here. Then if I go to this um, shadows, check down to shadows, go to presets and I'm going to click this particular shadow there. You can adjust the size of these shadows, the blur, depending on how thick you want them. Um, and you really can play around with these icons and you spend most of the day doing so. Um, now to the lower left, and I'm going to create the same shadow. And again, to this rectangular icon here, I'm going to actually check the top shadow here. Okay, so that gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. Now, what I'm going to do now is insert some text and logo. So to insert text, we go along to text box and draw text box. So if we just draw the text, don't worry too much about the size at the moment because we can adjust it. So I'm just going to type for a second. You can, uh, again, adjust the font as you see fit. This is very much a personal preference. Now up here, you can adjust the color of your font. Um, I'm going to have white in there. Now to adjust this text box with the lines and the borders, again, you go to shape options. If this, if this um, doesn't come up here, if you double click, you should get the uh, column to come up. You will um, find that this will come up initially. And if you just check the arrows, then this menus, these menus will um, appear. So I want to go to no fill and I want to say no line. And if we just click off that, you can see that your text is now free floating and you can adjust your text with text box um, as much as you need to. I'm just going to insert some more text.
and we'll just put no fill and no line and you can increase the size of your text and move this around okay you can also put in your logo um, if you wish to but I'll just show you this particular icon here this is all icons here that um, are preloaded into Word um, and there's lots of different options here that you can choose from if you if you need to uh, put something in relevant to your business or event so I'm just going to scroll down to this plant here now you check check your icon and you click insert and it will come up as a black icon now at the moment again I can't move this so if we go up to wrap text and go behind text go down to behind text and now I can move it now what it has done it's taken this behind these two circles so what we need to do is we need to check bring forward now this is when it doesn't work <laughs> so I then go around to in front of text and there we go so you basically have to play around with three, these three icons at the top here now with this particular icon here you can again play around with this as much as you like you can put down a shadow I'm going to change the color so I'm going to change it to white which is up here on this icon up here okay so if this is your um, logo then um, obviously you can put your logo wherever you want to but this just demonstrates how you can use the icons as well um, because they are actually quite flexible okay um, so what I'm going to do for the next five minutes is just insert some more text just to demonstrate how you could um, further develop this flyer. Okay, so we've got some basic text in here. I'm not a designer. I have no um, allegiance to the beauty industry. Um, but this is just a basic information video to show you how much can be achieved in Word. So the next thing I'm going to show you is that if you wanted to put a picture inside one of these graphics, if you so I'm going to put a picture or certainly a background in this oval here. So I've clicked on my um, shape and if I go across to picture or text fill here, now it's automatically uploaded my previous um, image that I used. But if I go up to file and I go to desktop demos, if I go to these lights here and insert the lights now I don't want it to be quite as um, prevalent as this so I can turn down my transparency here and it will begin to blend into the background and as it blends into the background it will take on the colour of the oval a slight pink colour now of course you can choose to put any sort of image in the background that you like whether it's um, icons or logos or even shapes um, this particular picture you can adjust so if I just increase its transparency um, and if I go to format picture up here there are lots of different options so if you decided that you wanted it black and white or a sepia color or you just wanted to change the color of it 
you can change the, the color of the picture itself. And then we can turn down the transparency here. There are huge, again, huge amounts of options that you can use. So I'm just going to show you um, how flexible this rectangular tool can be. Because on most flyers, people use rectangles to place information, logos, addresses, etc., etc. So we're just going to draw a rectangle across the page. So the flexibility you have here with these um, options is that um, you can do a pattern fill, um, which has all these different options here. You can change the background color of your pattern. You can change the foreground color of your pattern. Um, but you can't um, decrease the transparency of a pattern. You can only do that with your solid fill. So if we were to go up to a solid fill color um, and take the line out for a second, um, if we reduce the transparency of this particular box, what it does allow you is to still put information in that box, but it also allows you to see images through that box. Uh, currently it's over the top of the icon and all the information here. So if we were to just simply um, go up to the wrapping and go to check the behind text, it's now gone behind the ovals in the top right corner. So if we just push that up a bit and check off here, here it allows you to sort of put some uh, information but uh, without disturbing the, pi the, the picture underneath too much. And then also you have these options with the lines as well. So if I was to go to solid line here, and if I was to go to um, quite a, a bold color um, with the blue, and if I go down to width here, and I just click on the up arrow, you can see my line is getting thicker. Now, you can increase this line as much as you wish. So if you um, go down to gradient, you have all these different gradient options here. So you've got presets, which, have, which come in numerous colors. You have the option of radial or rectangular gradients or linear. And then you have the direction of your gradient and then the angle of your gradient, and then of course the color. So whichever um, little box here is surrounded by the orange highlight um, will change that particular color. So you can change your color, uh, and as you can see the outline here has changed, and then you can click on each one. Let's say you wanted to go to more colors. Uh, I'll choose something a bit more extreme. Click OK, and then that color changes. And then perhaps we can go back to pink, and then perhaps back to blue again. And then you can move these up and down the scale according to how you want your gradient to fit around the outside. And this is the case with the fill as well as the lines around the outside as well. Um, so you can see that this is incredibly flexible. Um, and you really can develop a design um, to your choosing. Now, when it comes to exporting your image, um, many printers will take a PDF file, uh, professional printers. So you simply go up to the save icon and save it as leaflet. And I'm going to click PDF. I'm going to check best for printing, export, and I'm going to say, yes, I want to continue to print. And then what that does do is in my demo file, I've now got my leaflet as a PDF. And if I just click on that, I've now got my image as a PDF file that I can send to a printers or send to my own printer. Well, I hope that helps somebody out there trying to create a flyer for a new business or an event. If you like the video, please subscribe and have a great day.